getting ready for summer and I'm like, I'm always ready for summer. Let's do another day of vlog. Okay, so not much has been happening. I have been waiting for this IKEA delivery, which I will show you. This is for my sun drenched mornings. Looks amazing. Loving this chair. So I'm gonna take this to the terrace. And they came just at the best time for me to now go to yoga. So I'm gonna run to yoga and then I'll come back and tell you what I'm doing. By the way, this morning I have been working on my family tree and I've discovered so many interesting branches in my family. Like I have a lot of family in Puerto Rico and that family that went to Cuba and Puerto Rico, they were actually originally French. So I am almost at 10% French, which is so much. And I don't really know anybody that lives there, but I know that the father of my grandma went there and they, they were from there. So yeah, it's so interesting. I did the DNA test and then I'm doing the My Heritage family tree. I finished yoga. This is my yoga place over there. It's called Stretch. And I just picked up another tea. And now we're gonna go. I need to take some stuff to alterations. So I have two summer dresses. Okay, he wants a picture. Okay, great. So picture request completed. So this is Broadway Market. Part of the reason why I come to this yoga studio is because I love Broadway Market. So almost every day I will come through this little street and they have tons of shops and cafes and things like that. So I can pick up my groceries here. So now we are gonna go that way, that way behind me. We're gonna go north. I think we are almost at our destination. The one thing that I don't like about this jacket, this Valenzuela jacket, that I love about my little stuff is this jacket doesn't have any pockets inside, which is such a pain in the ass, you can't put your stuff in there. Whereas the bell stuff has a nice big pocket inside there. Look what I found. I've been looking for an Imperial Topaz. I loved this one. I've been really working with gemstones lately and I was feeling like a topaz because of the energy of the sun and it's really hard to find natural topaz especially exactly like this because they either have the raw one which is not shiny at all and it's not that clear or they sell you gemstones for jewellery and this is kind of like somewhere in between because it's like a, it's like a piece of quartz but it's really beautiful it's a natural and heated that was really important for me to have the qualities of the natural stone so i am still studying and writing my values in this little booklet from the conference that we went to the other day. It takes a while to decipher what it is exactly that you're interested in and how it all fits together. Because of course in life there's a lot of obligations. It's not all things that you love, but ultimately the things that you're doing should respond to your values and what I'm thinking is that your values and the things that respond to your values should on some level make you happy because otherwise you would just be very miserable even if you were responding to your values if you're going to be miserable all your life then that doesn't seem like a really good decision seems quite irrational so the rational thing to do would be to choose values that make you happy that fulfilling them would make you happy so i'm in a bathroom i was just playing pool with my friend we are at the edition hotel as you can see this is the bathroom for the mummies I decided to go very dominatrix today. Voila. I always end up wearing cutsuit-like stuff at night. 
And I'm wearing my Miu Miu clutch from eons ago but that I still very much love and my Walford lace bodysuit and I did really well playing pool I'm really excited because I love pool so now we're going to get this down and leave ours oh no actually there's some little hanger here you know I'm very rarely there's Hangers for bags, so I'm going to make full use of this one. Et voila! So many mirrors, jeez. on but isn't this a cool outfit <laughs> it's not exactly the same color but i realized that i have these jeans that are in tune with my new maxmara i'm dying today after last night i'm wearing my t-shirt so i think maybe i'm one of the few people who got my t-shirt before they banned it. So what's the plan today, you ask me? Well, I was supposed to be on the phone with my healer right now, but she's taking forever to get ready. So instead, I'm gonna go to the shops, pick up some yogurt. I know I shouldn't get yogurt. Not the best thing for the next day bloating, but... That's my craving. So I'm gonna go get yogurt. And then my friend Philip is meant to be coming. Oh, we're having a party over there. My friend Philip is meant to be coming to play the piano. We're rehearsing some songs together. So that's what's happening. Sur ses springs, 
sur les murs des photos sans regret sans mélo la porte est claquée je vais les barrer What just happened? I just found my American Express card there in the street and I had been walking up that road completely when I realized that my card was missing from my wallet and that I must have dropped it because my wallet is one of these, it's on my phone so it opens. And so that spent there like 10 minutes. Which you think it is? Well, I went to the pharmacy running errands and then I'm like okay I need to call and cancel but I'm gonna see if it's on the floor just in case and there it was on the floor you know my feeling about all of this women's right thing abortion stuff of course I am completely pro-abortion I don't even I don't even consider that it's going to be uh, a human being while it depends on somebody's body as far as I'm concerned if something is attached to my body then that's my body it's like me wanting to get out my intestine it's the same thing it's not a human being but anyway one thing that I've been thinking about is that even though I am obviously for all these all these movements it makes me feel slightly uncomfortable to talk about it or to put it on social media. I don't like the aggressiveness of it. I don't like, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's part of my cultural upbringing that makes me feel like I shouldn't have a voice. So maybe it's, it's that's precisely the problem. But on some level, I'm not sure it's the right way to express to express it. I find it very divisive and maybe it's not necessary to divide ourselves to put that point across or is it? I don't know.